Good morning. So today we've got a little shoot with the client. So I thought one awesome day to sort of discuss uh, how much you should get paid. So we'll do that. Unfortunately, I can't show the shoot just because I didn't talk to the client about it or anything. But so yeah, we'll discuss that on today's episode and yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you're all going to have a nice day. So that's all done which was sort of nice and quick but that's one of the things you got to factor in with your pricing it's not just the time you're spending with the individual you also got to think about your time that a you're traveling you're shooting editing time then you got to add in the factors of the price of your editing software your camera gear you want to keep it all up to date and stuff that's why a lot of photographers like if you think about a wedding photographer they're going to charge three thousand four thousand all crazy huge numbers and you think that's ridiculous but at the same time they're taking probably a few thousand shots or a few hundred shots of your day they're going to edit every single shot then they're going to send them all out to you they're going to spend four or five hours editing they're spending all day with you they've got a crew they've got camera gear they've got travel costs so that's all things you sort of got to factor in with it when you're thinking about your price and never ever give someone a price on the spot always figure out what they want and then say come back I'll work it out and come back to you don't be like uh, uh, 50 bucks because in the end if you think about it you'll probably end up ripping yourself off so you've got to figure out how much you're worth and then you've got to figure out how much like you've got to break it down to travel shooting time editing time and you don't know some might be an absolute howler of an edit if you have things stuff up or for some reason if your computer crashes on you you've got to start again and all that cost adds into it all that time so you've got to work out that's why photographers charge as much as they do you've got to work out how much it's actually going to take well, that's step one anyway and now we're going to head out home and probably have a look at the photos or at least dump the card anyway and then we'll yeah we'll go from there and we'll see what's happening around the house and what everyone else is doing Peace. Another thing you got to work out is that is that if you need like extra help and stuff like that, you also got to factor in that price to how much you're going to charge. Just turn the computer on. Bloody laptops and stuff everywhere. So yeah, it's a ton of different factors and also you've got to be comfortable with telling people if they pipe up that no, this is your price and this is what you're going to charge for your services. Let's say you you decide to pay yourself 30 bucks an hour. So I would start that timer. I would think about it. Starting from when you leave home. So you've got to include your travel all the way to then the entire shoot. If it's all day, you're going to have to, you might have to buy lunch or you might take lunch and stuff. Then travel home. Then you've got to think about, even if it's a two hour shoot, but all day, let's just keep going with the all day thing. Then you've got to say, all right, I took 200 photos. How long should it take me to edit 200 photos? I know... You should probably set up some presets so once you've done one, if they're all in a similar condition, you can just go bang, 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 bang. But that all takes time. 200 photos might take you, oh, 
five or six hours to edit. So you gotta say, if you're under quote someone and say, yeah, 200 bucks, and then all of a sudden you've done all day, so you've done a full like five hours, let's say five hours for the travel and the shoot, plus then another six hours for the edit, that's 11 hours and you've charged yourself $200. Where that's, that's not great money, that's not good money at all. You're gonna struggle doing that. So you've gotta be comfortable with A, not moving on your price, and B, making sure you pay yourself enough that at the end of the day, it's all done. So if we just quickly recap, you need to figure out how much you're willing to pay yourself. Never just throw out a random number, always go back and think about it. Even if they say, I want three or four photos, you're not gonna take three or four photos. You're gonna take probably 40 or 50 photos. Like today, the client said he only wanted a couple of photos, but I know I've taken probably close to 100. So I'm gonna edit all 100 of them, unless there's any super dodgy ones, and then send it to him. So you've gotta work all that in, make sure you pay yourself the correct amount, make sure your costs are gonna be covering gear, travel, food, petrol, your lifestyle, Unless you've got a hugely exorbitant lifestyle, then that might be a bit different. And then, like editing software, do you need a new lens for this gig? Because if you do, then that's an extra factor you've got to throw in. Do you need to buy extra batteries, extra cards? All that stuff you sort of got to pile in together. And then you'll be able to work out a lot better what, what you really should be charging for a photography gig. So I hope this video has helped a bit in figuring out how much you should be charging and what you should be charging. And yeah, hope you all have a nice day and see you all soon.